Okay, so in this video, I plan on demonstrating how to use broadcast and wait and receive blocks in Scratch in order to build a conversation project. Um, so what I'm going to do first is showcase a more complicated conversation between two sprites. Um, so these two sprites are having a conversation by utilizing the broadcast and wait and receive blocks. Um, so this conversation is a little longer um, and is a little more complicated. So what I'm going to do is walk you through how to build a more simple and smaller conversation. Um, and then we're, that way you could try and build one of these on your own um, that is more complicated. Alright, so that's the end of the, the more complicated project. So I'm going to close this out. Um, and I'm going to show you a more simplified version. Um, so this is going to be a much shorter conversation. So we'll see how this works. Alright, and that's the end of the conversation. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and actually exit out. Or I'll actually just open a new one. Um, and what I'm going to do is begin building this project with you. Um, and then what we're going to do is allow you to finish off the conversation. So, first thing we need is two sprites. So we've got our Scratch Cat already on here. So I'm going to go ahead in and grab the crab sprite. So choose the new sprite, go into animals. Let's see where the crab is. Here we are. So here's the crab sprite. Move them over all the way over here. So, the first thing we need is when this, what, how we want the program to start is we want to click the green flag and we want the program to start. So we need to grab the when green flag clicked block. So here we are. Um, actually, we need this in the cat because we're going to have the cat speak first. So we're going to put this in the cat sprite and when green flag clicked. Okay, and then first we want the cat just to say hello. So we grab say hello for two seconds. Um, and then we want to signal to the crab sprite that the cat is done speaking and we want the crab to speak next. So we'll go ahead and go into control and we grab the broadcast and wait block. And what we need to do is put in a message in here that tells the crab that it's done speaking and that it's his turn to speak. So I'm going to go ahead and name this crab turn one. Oops. All right, and so this will broadcast to the crab sprite. So what we need to do is go into the crab sprite and do the when I receive. And so when he receives that crab turn one has started, we want him to say, uh, let's see, what do we want him to say? We want him to say, hello, cats. Say, hello, cats. All right. So, what this is going to do is that when the green flag is clicked, the cat is going to say hello and then broadcast to the crab that the crab is going to speak and then it's going to wait. And then what this will do is that when it receives that broadcast, it's going to say hello cat and then it's going to tell the, the um, cat that it's done speaking and that it can continue on. So, let's showcase that this actually works. We'll go ahead and present this. All right. So in order to continue the conversation, the cat would speak back. So in order to do that, you would just need to put in another say block right after broadcast and, you know, say something like, how are you, crab? And so what will happen is that as soon as this broadcast has finished, so as soon as the crab is done speaking, this wait means that as soon as that, that's done, it'll keep going in this block. So it'll go ahead and say this after the crab is done speaking. So I'll show you that this actually works. It says, how are you? Perfect. So. In order to keep this conversation going, you'd need to broadcast more and receive more. Um, so my challenge to you is to try and extend this conversation even longer and work with these broadcast and wait and, and receive blocks and see if you can get the conversation to go even longer. Thanks for watching and I hope this was helpful.